number one. Topic, family. One, do you spend much time with your family? Answer, I spend a lot of time with family members. My family is very important and I want to maintain a good relationship with them. They help me be more confident in life. Two, who are you closest to in your family? Answer, in my family, I am closest to my mother. She really understands me and always listens to me. She shares with me things in life and what I should do best. Three, do you prefer spending time with your family or friends? Answer, I prefer spending time with my family. Spending time with friends is fun, but family is more important than normal friendships. I can definitely live without friends, but I can't live without family members. Four, are you still friends with people from your childhood? We have our own life and is very busy, so we don't see each other often. Sometimes we still contact and go for coffee and shopping together. Number two, topic, morning routine. One, what do you usually do in the morning? Answer, I usually wake up at 6 a.m. Start with a glass of warm water and basic exercises. Then I have breakfast and go to work. Two, do you usually have the same routine every day? Answer, I pretty much follow the same routine on weekdays as my work schedule is the same. However, on weekends, I tend to do different things to spice my life up a little bit. Three, what is your daily routine? Answer, my daily routine is quite repetitive. I always start the day with having my breakfast, watching some YouTube videos, and then getting ready for work. After a whole day at work, I'd go back home to my wife cooking dinner and then chilling out for a bit before bedtime. Number three, topic, internet. One, do you have your own computer? Answer, I have your own computer. It's really rare to find someone who doesn't have a computer nowadays since technology has already developed so much. Everyone has to have a computer now to assist them in their work, study, and other purposes. Two, what's your favorite website? Answer, this is a difficult question because it depends on the type of website. If I want to listen to music or watch movies, I will choose YouTube. But if I want to find information, I go to Google to find it. Three, do you think children should be allowed unsupervised access to the internet? Answer, I really don't think it's a good idea that children should be allowed unsupervised access to the internet. I mean, it's very difficult for kids that age to distinguish what information is relevant to them and what information isn't. That's why they're easily exposed to violent or sexual content, which can endanger their mental development. Four, how often do you go online? Answer, I usually surf the internet every day. I do it for various purposes. Sometimes I go online to search for information related to my work and study. Sometimes I just want to listen to some music or watch a movie. Five, what do you use the internet for? Answer, I usually use the internet for various purposes. The most important one is to help myself relax. That's why I usually play multiplayer online games with my friends or go on social media like TikTok or Facebook to see what everyone else is up to. Number four, topic, neighborhood. One, what is your neighborhood like? Answer, my neighborhood is quite peaceful since there are not many houses here. The atmosphere in the area is fresh compared to other nearby areas. This makes it a great place to raise kids in my opinion. Two, do you like your neighbors? Answer, well, I like most of my neighbors. They all seem to be quite friendly and generous. However, there are a few people who have a very low educational level and keep making loud noises at night, especially when they sing karaoke. Three, how could your neighborhood be improved? Answer, the first thing I can think of to improve the neighborhood is to widen the streets. Currently, the streets are quite narrow, so traffic jams often occur during rush hours. In fact, this week I was late for work twice because of traffic. Number five, topic, leisure time. One, how do you like to spend your free time? Answer, I usually spend my free time either resting or indulging myself in a hobby. I mean, I'll prefer to rest if I have had a hard day at work and just want to relax a little bit. 
However, if I feel like I still have a bit of energy left, then I'll be more likely to work on my hobby, which is playing the piano. Two, what did you enjoy doing in your free time as a child? Answer, I used to spend a lot of time playing with other kids in my neighborhood. We usually did some role play or got involved in some kind of play fight with each other. It was such a good time for me. Three, do you prefer to spend your free time with other people or alone? Answer, sometimes I wanna be alone to be quiet, rearrange everything from work to things in the room, and sometimes I wanna meet friends somewhere to talk, but I only do it on weekends when I have time. Four, do most people in your country get two days off a week? Answer, most people only have Sundays off because there is too much work to organize and complete, and maybe it's a workplace rule, but some industries still have two days off a week. Five, do you think leisure time is important? Answer, I think leisure time is important. I feel like if people don't have time on their own, they're gonna feel very unhappy. This is because working so hard without having time to wind down will tremendously affect your mental health, in my opinion. Number six, topic hometown. One, where is your hometown? Is that a big city or a small place? Answer, I originally come from Da Nang City. There are many places to travel and visit. I don't think this is the largest city in Vietnam, but it is definitely populous city. Two, is there anything you dislike about your hometown? Answer, I think I don't have anything that I don't like about my hometown. If anything, it's probably just a bit of heavy traffic in the morning on the way to work. Three, what do you like most about your hometown? Answer, I like many things here, from the people to the beautiful scenery. The people of Da Nang City are famous for their kindness and generosity, especially towards visitors and tourists. This is also the reason why many people come to this city to live and start a business. Number seven, topic hobbies. One, do you have a hobby? Answer, I have a hobby, which is collecting music, my favorite songs through the ages, all genres and singers, which songs I like I will put in my memory list. Two, what equipment do you need for it? Answer, well, I don't really need much equipment for it. Just have a memory stick or a computer so I can store it over the years. Three, do you think hobbies should be shared with other people? I have a group of friends who really like listening to music, but each person has a different genre. We have one thing in common. We just sit quietly listening to music until the song ends and then comment to each other. Four, what hobbies are popular in your country? Answer, it depends a lot on the age group in my opinion. To be more specific, young people tend to enjoy energetic activities such as playing sports or going to the clubs. In contrast, older people prefer arenity, so they often opt for pastimes like reading or gardening. Number eight, topic, travel. One, do you like to travel? Answer, I really like to travel. I want to explore new places, not only in Vietnam, but also in many places around the world. In other words, I like to travel around the world which allows me to learn about different types of cultures and relax after working long hours. Two, where do you like to travel to? Answer, I will go to places near where I live and then go to places farther away. I usually travel on a whim with unplanned trips and with random people. Three, do you prefer to travel alone or on a tour? Answer, traveling on a tour may help sort out all potential problems, but I prefer doing everything by myself. Thus, going somewhere alone is a better option by which I am free to go and stop at will or choose my own itinerary. Number nine, topic, celebrity. One, who is your favorite singer? Answer, well, Celine Dion is the singer whom I respect and admire the most because of her talent and wonderful personal life, which can be a good sample for every family to follow. Indeed, her vocal skills are amazing, and her married life is a standard for many other celebrities to look up to. Two, who is the most popular singer in Vietnam? 
Answer. My Tam is the most renowned singer in Vietnam. She has been performing for more than 10 years with numerous hits, which really make people sing along when listening to them. Not only does she excel in singing, but she is also a successful businesswoman who is running two companies at the same time. 3. Do you prefer a good voice or a nice appearance of a singer? Answer. I'd love to choose a good voice. As for me, nothing can beat a beautiful voice with impeccable pitch and skills. When it comes to listening to music, I prefer the quality of the sound I hear, not the looks of a singer. Number 10. Topic News. 1. How do you usually get your news? Answer. I usually read online newspapers to keep myself updated. There are several sites on the internet which offer lots of free content to read and they get updated really frequently. That's why I much prefer online news to physical newspapers. 2. How do most people get the news in your country? Answer. It depends on the age group we're talking about. I mean, older people tend to stick to physical newspapers because they're so used to reading news that way. In contrast, younger people use the internet all the time so they are naturally inclined to read news online as well. 3. Do you think international news is important? Answer. I think international news is important. This is simply because we're living in such a globalized world now that each and every decision of a nation can have an impact on another. For example, we need to keep ourselves updated in case other countries are planning an attack on us.